All right, I'm approaching another tunnel. I think this is the longest one. Pretty neat, I think that's an old spring. Just a gorgeous trail. starting to get better the surface I think uh, more people ride this section than the section closer to Parkersburg I don't know just that's the feeling I get this is the little town of Cairo a nice little town All right, so I'm gonna add another tunnel here. This is a breakdown of the mileage. This is the spur that goes off to the North Bend State Park. Um, you can see I went through Happy Valley, Walker, Petroleum, that's where I stayed. Uh, just had breakfast in Cairo, um, passed through Cornwallis, and now I'm here, so. Anyway, here's the tunnel. Looks like a short one. The trail's definitely improving, uh, less uh, mud and grass and more uh, rock, crushed rock, which is really nice. So there's a little bridge. Here's the tunnel. It's tunnel 13. So you travel at your own risk. little picnic table and a bulletin board with the maps and information about the trail and there's the spur that goes off to the North Bend State Park still muddy and here's another tunnel. Tunnel 12. Figured I would stop since I can't see anything. All right, here's another tunnel. This one looks to be just rock lined. So the trail's kind of gone back to single track. Uh, I imagine that probably the most used is around the uh, State Park, but uh, still not bad by any means, but just sort of turned into single track and grass. So this tunnel feels good again. It's pretty hot out, it's almost 90 degrees. So, all right, this one is 558 feet long. So I'm gonna put my light on and venture in. the Pennsboro B&O station. I guess it's being restored. Looks pretty nice. Got this brick walkway. Town of Pennsboro. Just a little town. 
one in West Virginia. They've got uh, a couple restaurants, some ice cream over there. So, probably a good place to get some lunch or dinner. Another tunnel. Tunnel number seven. 779 feet. I'm at, uh, I think it's mile marker 47. Um, this last section here, definitely not for the faint of heart. It's pretty much all grass and mud. So you can maybe do four or six miles an hour and constantly fighting the handlebars. Uh, the last section here, almost a mile, it was literally the, there was a little line of single track, but it was mud and standing water. So I had to go through that. but. Definitely not for the faint of heart, so just uh, just beware, uh, know what you're getting into when you're on this trail. Some beautiful scenery, but um, pretty close to the longest tunnel, I think uh, what it is, uh, Central Station, something like that. I'll be hitting that probably in the next uh, two or three miles, um, and find a camping spot after that, so time to move on. And actually now it's starting to rain. I'm pretty happy about actually. Okay, so this is the longest tunnel. It's supposed to be a wet one too. Uh, I think it's 2,200 feet long. It should be nice. Should be very cool. All right, all fueled up. Uh, leaving the town of West Union, which by the way, has a little section that's paved. Uh, all fueled up at the gas station. Got a sandwich, some more water. Uh, some food so I am on my way not sure where I'm staying tonight uh, I think maybe Bristol we'll see uh, I think the last food stop to fill up is in uh, Salem so we shall see I'm gonna stop in Salem and check it out which would mean if I go to Bristol I think I have about 16 miles left and it's I don't know not even three o'clock so I got all day to get there nothing to do when I get there so I'm gonna take it easy hopefully the trail is a little more rideable and less mud that would be nice but uh, here's the wishful thinking they're uh, regrading and uh, graveling the trail here looks good I am in Salem now spot for the evening uh, one of the free campsites uh, outside of Salem. It's at mile marker 66.6. It's got a bathroom. There's the trail. My bike. There's my after dinner mint. Uh, I got water. I got a gallon of water last night. I said no, there's no uh, showers. So I was planning on uh, cleaning my riding clothes from the day before and uh, just washing up. But I pretty much ran out yesterday, so I figured two and a half gallons, that's going to get me through. So, it's good to rehydrate too, so I'm going to uh, just kind of hang out here till the sun gets close to going down and then set up the tent. 
I kind of wash the gear that I'm going to be riding tomorrow and then um, wash myself up and just kind of hanging out. I don't want to start sweating again. It's, uh, I think it was 93 degrees today. So hot day, hot day for sure. Uh, tomorrow I am done with the trail. So tomorrow I am done with the trail. Um, so I'm going to hit the highway, I think, from here. I'm going to have to get on it anyway, so I might as well just get started early in the morning uh, and make my way to Morgantown where I've got a day off. So, a nice, uh, beautiful view of the sewer pipe, too. I don't really care, it doesn't smell. So. My tent was a little damp this morning, but I had to pack it up anyway. Just because of all the dew. I kept the top off of it because I thought it would be cooler, but it was kind of dumb because then the sides got wet and my uh, sleeping quilt got a little wet too because it was touching the sides, so it'll dry in a heartbeat here. That just feels barely damp, so. Don't have too much sun left, but uh, enough to get the job done. I'm literally just on the trail. So I saw only one other person on a bike in the whole trail, so um, and they were uh, definitely not uh, traveling far, they were just on their bike with no gear. So very lightly used trail, um, but I guess I'm here during the midweek too when everyone's uh, working, so I'm just kind of hanging out, relaxing, trying to stay out of the sun. I've had enough of that today. Um, but. Uh, yeah, once the sun goes down a little bit further, I'll be able to put the tent up when it's dry and uh, get my sleeping stuff in there.